good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Turkey but I'm actually gonna be leaving Turkey in just a couple minutes here as you can see I'm in a car specifically I'm in a taxi to get those sunglasses on it's about 7 30 a.m. and I am flying to Lebanon so it's gonna be a great time I'm really really excited to be going because I'm actually gonna be seeing Fuad I'm gonna see Mabel and uh, we are gonna have some fun yeah guys got a 45 minute or so ride to the airport here uh, there's two airports in Istanbul I'm going to the main uh, Istanbul Airport IST and I'll be taking Middle Eastern Airlines over to Lebanon so I booked the flight a couple days ago it was about uh, maybe two hundred and twenty dollars I want to say so a uh, pretty decent price for like a two-hour flight but uh, yeah when you book it nearly last minute I probably could have gotten it for like a hundred but uh, I wanted wanted a good flight time arrived right in the middle of the day and so uh, yeah guys let's go ahead and do this And guys, we have made it to the airport. One thing I want to mention is both on my way to and from the airport, I tried to pay with uh, my American credit and debit card. I tried them both and they didn't work. And I haven't, I've had a couple times where my American card hasn't worked here in Turkey. Uh, definitely more than in other places. But the taxi guy on the way here, if you remember my first video when I got to Istanbul, he had said American cards don't work. And so this taxi driver just validated it. He tried it twice and then um, he tried my debit card. And there's no issues with them because I double checked that there wasn't like a fraud protection thing popping up. Uh, nothing popped up. So I think it's just must be like the taxi companies. Those readers don't accept like certain foreign cards. So just keep that in mind. Luckily, I had some US dollars and a little bit of Turkish lira uh, to pay. And I paid roughly like 100 Turkish lira and 20 US dollars, which was maybe slightly more than the uh, than the price. But like, you know, it was still it was still fine. So, yeah, we've got the uh, international departures that we're going to be going into. Gotta find Middle Eastern Airlines and then we're good to go, my friends. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick stop from today's video on our way to Lebanon and share with you guys today's sponsor, which is Level 8 Suitcases. I'm really excited to show you guys this suitcase because it is a traveler's best friend. Let's head on over to the car, get packed up, and we'll show you. First part I wanna show you is awesome. So I've used quite a few different travel suitcases, but what stood out on the Level 8 Suitcase is actually when you pop this lever right up here to the right, it has this compartment here. It almost is like a large backpack because you have your space for a laptop there. You can put a portable charger that actually connects here and up top. And you have all of these little pockets where you can put maybe your passport and other important documents. And also up here, guys, we have this lock, which actually makes it possible so you can lock your zippers. You can set your own personal code. We've got the suitcase empty here, but I wanna show you the insides first before we load it up. On your left side of the suitcase, you've got more of a large area where you can put stuff. And then on top of it, you can put any special, you know, thinner belongings, whether you have jewelry, you have other important documents, socks, boxers in this side. And then over here where you can toss in all of your clothes, you have that compression strap, which is then going to be able to allow you to fit more things in there. Let's go ahead and get this suitcase filled up with some items here. So here we go, three, two, one. Boom, wow guys, and that's how you fill up a suitcase real quick here. That is the level eight carry-on suitcase. Really hope you enjoyed checking it out. I am so excited to take this suitcase with me traveling. And if you guys want to get this suitcase, I'll put a link in the description below and make sure to use the discount code because you actually get 10% off. So that'll save you quite a bit on this suitcase. Then it is time to fly. All right, we are to the first level of security. Time to uh, find the check-in information for Middle Eastern Airlines. All right, I've made it through uh, oh, passport control. My guess is uh, here in the airport, you no longer need to wear a mask because most people don't have them on. It's the first airport I've been at that's like this. It's such a nice feeling. And uh, take a look down here. Middle Eastern Airlines, I freaking love you. Uh, this is all able to be a carry-on. So we got the overhead compartment by the foot and then some snacks there. So. Probably pushed it a little bit, but uh, maybe the plane's not full. That's why they were nice to let me, or maybe they just didn't notice. I think they just didn't notice, but uh, yeah, now we're gonna go over to the lounge here and get some work done for the next two hours before the flight leaves. All right, guys, I can never actually locate where the lounge was, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of space in this airport. I can tell you that it's massive. So I'm trying to get my next video up, which is uh, a bit concerning because it's at 31% and the boarding probably starts in like 20 minutes. 59% left. Oof. Eesh. It's going to be a close one, guys. We shall see. Otherwise, it's going to be a late upload. But anyways, guys, 
more importantly we are about to head to Beirut and I haven't been back in like five months so I'm so so excited to see friends to see my girlfriend and uh, it's gonna be a great time I'm super excited for it so let's head on over to the gate in just a minute <clears throat> all right guys and it is time we're heading back to uh, Beirut Lebanon got about a two-hour flight and then we'll be there And I can tell you, I can feel it's pretty hot here. I can feel that humidity coming through the uh, the walls, but it's great to be back here in Lebanon. All right, guys, I have made it through customs, or actually immigration, and then now it's time to go through the customs, and then we're in. All right, we are uh, about to walk out. Fouad and I think Mabel will both be outside. Haven't seen them in a while, so it's that nervous excitedness. All right, that's it. Ah, there they are. We've got them right there. Fouad and Mabel. Oh, it feels great to be back here in uh, Lebanon. A lot of people here. What's up, brother? How are you doing? How's everything good, bro? How's everything with you? All right, guys, the excitement is at its peak right now. We got Mabel and Fouad. Let's go. So, Bajo Kif Khan, Lebanon. Oh, it's good to be back. So, Bajo. And it was a good reminder when I got back to Lebanon. It was so hot in the customs line. I got questioned for a little bit, wondering what I'm doing in Lebanon for like my fifth time. Oh, it's great to be back. How are you feeling, bro? Oh, man, I'm feeling really good. You gotta eat lots Perfect. of stuff. Yeah, Tamim. Tamim. Yeah, tam Perfect. Yeah, you already know we're gonna be back on that Lebanese food. I'm so ready for it. Oh, and to get that off my back. That the famous coat. Heavy. The famous quote, you can't leave Lebanon, but Lebanon can't leave. Exactly, that's true, that's true. And everyone that I've met that's been to Lebanon, especially one of my friends that I met, Mahad, the other day, he said the same thing as me. He's like, the only place that I've ever gotten actually very sad when he left was Lebanon. And I was like, bro, that's the same for me. So it's great to be back. <laughs> All right, guys, I think after about, uh, yeah, let's say 45 minutes together, I think I finally realized I'm here in Lebanon. And this is the first time I've ever said it right. I'm always saying uh, leap nine. When I was walking, <laughs> when I, you guys probably saw this like a few minutes ago in the video when I walked into the airport, I was like, leap nine, it's been a while. And a couple of people looked at me like, bro, it's not leap nine, it's leap nine. <laughs> but is that, is that the French way or is that the Arabic way? That's the Arabic way. Uh, yeah, leap nine. All right, I'm, I'm getting it down then. Liban. Liban. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, let's put it this way. If you guys watch my Paris, France videos, uh, yeah, Fran speaking French is not necessarily what I'd consider a specialty of mine, but uh, khalas, we're uh, back in Arabic town, so uh, yeah. How does it feel, bro? Uh, everything's good, man. Everything's good? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gonna have some good lunch yeah, right what, now. What's gonna be on the menu? Uh, vine leaves. Vine leaves, yeah, oh. Stuffed with rice and small pieces of meat. Uh -huh. Delicious. Oh. And rice and chicken. Yeah. Some homemade hummus. Oh, bro. Tabbouleh Talk salad. to me like that. Oh, no. Nah. Tabbouleh, bro? Oh, yeah. And some Lebanese sweets. My grandma made some Lebanese sweets. You're gonna love it. Oh. You're gonna love it. That's what we call an official welcoming back. You ready for this? I'm ready for this. Uh, you probably haven't had Lebanese food in quite a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> I miss it so much. Yeah, exactly. We'll be saying sak ten katir katir katir. Yalla. Alright guys, so we got about a total of like 50 minutes, I guess 45 minutes from the airport to Juni, where we're gonna be going to Fuad's grandma's and having a delicious meal and seeing some of their family and meeting some Aussies that are apparently here for how long? Like a month? Yeah, something like that. Awesome a month all right so we're gonna have some fun we we're just with a lot of Aussies in uh, the last couple months uh, hanging out with uh, Mr. Luke Demand so to keep <laughs> keep the fun going it's gonna be a good time we'll see you guys once we get there good night Mike good night Mike good night Mike <laughs> all right Juni it is great to be back all right all right all right we are entering into uh, Fuad's grandma's place hello Rima Kifi <laughs> I'm back. Oh yeah, yeah, gotta gotta get you in here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. How are you? Me? Yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
<laughs> so guys, we're entering into my Lebanese family's house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm an adopted son, right? Yes, <laughs> of <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Mwah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Thank you. The man, the myth, the legend, Fuad. You know, I, I will say that I'm getting some serious nostalgia from, from actually way back when. All the way back in July. Around, I want to say, July... 30th? Yeah, yeah, sure. Fuad, I had just met Fuad and uh, it was right outside of here and Fuad's like, um, do you want to come over for some Lebanese food? And he invited me up into the mountains and here we are again, almost a year later. So, uh, yeah. merci to you. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's eat. Yeah, yeah, let's eat. Look at this delicious food here. Oh, baby, baby. And now you guys are probably figuring out why I am obsessed with Lebanon. Oh, yeah, that's going to be delicious. Oh, as you can see, we are feasting here. The food is Taibe. Taib. Merci, Ketir. Ketir, Ketir. Yeah, it's so good. So we're trying this, and it's a, it's a big moment here. Mabel's going to be uh, tasting... What is it? Is this La Majin? No, this is La Majin. This is a big moment. Yeah, the first time eating meat. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I know I'm gonna eat it, but. I feel like I'm committing a sin. Nope, I did not tell her to. She just randomly told me, when you come to Lebanon, I'm gonna eat meat. And then he's like, here, this is for you. <laughs> She looked plate. hungry for uh, it. Taibe? Taibe. I'm gonna feel guilty for like the first few times I ate. Yalla, we'll share with you like, soon. Yeah, exactly. Pretty soon. <laughs> My first Lebanese meal back was absolutely delicious. Let me tell you that. As you can probably imagine, I had probably four or five full plates full of food. And you want to know what happens after you have four or five full plates of food? You make your way to the next step, which is a massive table of desserts. Merci, Tia Rima. Merci, merci. Shu, baby, you ready? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're in this. Yeah, Rima, give a shout. Shu Akbarik. Shu Akbarik. Shu Akbarik. Good. Yeah, I gotta work on that accent, clearly. No, it's good, it's good. Yeah, let's, let's see what the uh, yeah, Arabic says. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's been added. Oh. Uh -huh. The vlogger. <laughs> oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> wow, so that must have been good then. If we got the triple turn, how you do? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. All right. I'll I mean, you should try it. Yeah. You want right. me to hold it? I'll give it a okay. shot here. Let's try this thing out. Mmm. Mm. It's like a jello -y texture. Mm -hmm. uh, jello -y texture with a bit of coconut. Um, coconut shreds up on top and you get a nice crunch that mixes in for a really good dessert. I will tell you, there's so many desserts to try here. Mm. That is fantastic. Who made this one? Did you make this one, Rima? Oh no, that's my grandma's. Gra can you tell your grandma it's uh, Taib? Kutir, Kutir, Taib. Merci, Kutir. Thank you. Are you putting a little? What is this one? Oh yeah. I thought that was soap for a second. I thought you were putting soap on your cake. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Is everything good over there? She's shampoo. putting soap on there. Shampoo. Yeah. Look at shampoo. Alright, let's try a little shampoo mixed with the. Uh... Yeah. I will tell you, I never expected I'd be like a shampoo on the. Um... On the desserts, but whoa, that it goes down nice and smooth. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was an incredible time. Fuad's family took such good care of us, and uh, let me tell you this I am super full, so now we are heading out. How'd you like that, baby? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so full. I don't know if I could eat another bite of anything. Wow, guys, a complete scenery change. Now I just teleported into an office. Well, I just wanted to add one more video clip in here, guys, because it was a shorter video, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to Fuad and his family for having me and Mabel over for the best welcoming back into Lebanon. Like, 
Honestly, that is one of the things why I love Lebanon so much is the family bonds, the time together, and it was just so sweet of them to set up the massive Lebanese meal right upon my arrival and accommodate that, and it was just so special. It made me feel back at home, and it's crazy. Yeah, this is my fifth time in Lebanon, guys, so it's just uh, each time gets better and better, and you know, obviously I'm building stronger and stronger relationships and friendships with all the people that I come back and see and um, you guys just saw exactly why. I didn't share that much at the uh, lunch because, you know, I was catching up with people. So I shared with you guys some of the bits and pieces of it. But let me just tell you, today was filled with so, so much excitement to be back to see everyone. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling so good inside. And let me tell you, we have a lot coming up over the next massive series we're going to be making here in Lebanon. I'm here all summer, guys. So that means we're going to be making I don't want to promise exactly how many videos yet, but it'll be a summer full of exploring Lebanon. It is Lebanon 2.0, guys, because I actually filmed here just about one year ago when I first came to Lebanon. So really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we have so many coming up. So if you're not already subscribed, guys, make sure that subscribe button below and you won't miss out on any of these adventures as we explore more of Lebanon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, yalla, see you tomorrow.